วิทยากรท่านนี้นะคะน่าสนใจไม่แพ้กับวิทยากรท่านอื่นๆเลยค่ะท่านเดินทางไกลมาถึงประเทศญี่ปุ่นเลยนะคะวันนี้ท่านจะมาในหัวข้อนะคะต้นแบบการปฏิบัติที่ดีเลิศด้านการจัดการเรียนรู้แบบร่วมมือ collaborative learning การสร้างและการพัฒนาอย่างยั่งยืนของวัฒนธรรมความร่วมมือทางการศึกษานะคะ Next speaker is another interesting educational leader. She is director of Center for Excellence in School Education, the University of Tokyo, Japan. Today, she is going to discuss the topic of best practices in collaborative learning, how a culture of collaboration in education can be built and sustained. Let me introduce Professor Dr. Ryoko Sugne Yoshi up on the stage as our second speaker. Thank you very much for the introduction. I'm Ryo g o t s u n e y o s h i I'm very honored to be here uh, to meet so many uh, leaders of Thailand, and uh, and uh, I would like to thank the host, uh, uh, Akorn uh, Education and Shadokong University, and others as well. I was very inspired by uh, the Secretary General's speech, uh, and today what I would like to do uh, is to present. Um, A model, a Japanese model of education, uh, which is uh, being um, the, the attracting some interest from abroad, and uh, one which is uh, now um, starting to be supported by JICA, which is uh, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, uh, and also one which the uh, Japanese government is starting to support uh, countries uh, in which uh, it is. Uh, there is interest to, for that to be implemented. Um, as you probably know, uh, there was one such Japanese model, uh, which was called lesson study. Uh, this is the other part. Lesson study is a collaborative uh, uh, form for teacher education for teachers improving their lessons. Uh, now, the the other model, which I I am going to talk about today, uh, which I call tokatsu. Because the original name is Tokubetsu Katsudo and it's too long, uh, and the translation is Special Activities, which is very hard to to understand. Uh, this Tokatsu model uh, is a collaborative learning uh, activity or framework for children, and I will talk about that today because it is an ongoing model that is being. Uh, Uh, implemented in some other countries uh, with uh, Japanese um, JICA uh, assistance. Okay, where did I do this? I'll let you. And this is just the uh, Japanese uh, you know, the educational system, just uh, to give you a start. Uh, compulsory education is until junior high school. However, almost everyone actually goes to high school, so it, high school is in effect uh, compulsory. It's not as a system, but it is in effect. And uh, the um, framework that I'm going to talk about, Tokatsu. Uh, Is all through all through school education. I'm sorry. Can you can you go on the next one, please? The next one, please. Okay, thank you. Um, 
What I'm going to talk about today is the concept of educating the whole child. It can be said holistic education, total education. That is the pillar of Japanese uh, education, not just academics, but also the mind, Thank you. Uh, physical, moral, uh, all put together. Uh, however, uh, what happened, I think, with lesson study, uh, especially because it was first imported, exported, or imported uh, into uh, the Western countries, the academic side was very uh, was emphasized. However, in uh, in actuality, uh, the Japanese curriculum uses both the uh, academic and non-academic side, and it puts it into the official curriculum, as I will show you next. Um, if you can, it's small, but if you can look at the uh, arrows on the bottom, uh, you can see that Tokubetsu Katsu, Tokukatsu is on the bottom. You can see integrated studies, moral education. Uh, these are all not necessarily academic. Tokatsu isn't. And it's the same for junior high school. This is the curriculum standards, the national curriculum standards. Uh, and you can see tokubetsu katsu, tokukatsu. Uh, and you can see that it is in the official curriculum. Very often, the th types of things that are in tokukatsu, such as club activities uh, and uh, uh, lunch, lunch, serving lunch, cleaning, uh, these things, school events, these things are often outside of the official curriculum in many countries. Uh, so in the Japanese case, because the idea is the total child, uh, it, it is in the, um, why is it moving? Sorry. All right. It is in the official curriculum together with math and reading. See, that is the, uh, the characteristic. Now, as I mentioned before, the most famous Japanese model to, be, to go international to this date has been lesson study. And now, uh, lesson study has a worldwide association, World uh, Association for Lesson Studies, WALS. Uh, and uh, there are various groups, one of which is uh, I have here Kathleen Lewis's Mills College Lesson Study Group, uh, which uh, disseminate, you know, the model, uh, of course, adjusting it to their own context. Uh, and yet you can, you, you probably are familiar, some of you are familiar with the lesson study model. Um, and you can see the explanation that uh, Kathleen Lewis has on her uh, homepage. And you can see it in, if you just go Mills College and lesson study, it will come out. Um, in lesson study, teachers share their lessons. So they would open up their lessons uh, to other teachers. In Japan, for designated schools, for example, uh, there may be hundreds of, of teachers that come to observe someone's lesson. And then after the lesson, the teachers would get together and talk about the lesson and how the children can learn better. That is basically the, the lesson study model. But there are rules inside that lesson study model uh, that prevent teachers from starting to criticize each other, which can happen, right? If you, uh, if you are looking at a, a lesson and you think that this teacher could have done something better, then there is always the, uh, the um, possibility or the danger that it will become uh, a criticism of that teacher, of the teaching of that teacher. So, which is not collaborative, you see. It is not uh, what lesson study is about. So, uh, there are very, uh, very specific rules uh, in, in the um, lesson study model which direct the, the um, attention uh, to the child, to the learning of the child. So, what can we do better? for the child to learn better. So um, the idea is, is for teachers, both experience, not just master teachers, but, but starting teachers, teachers that are not perhaps that good yet in their teaching to open up 
their classes. And that is one of the ideals. And so that has been one of the, the um, uh, models uh, that grew out of the Japanese tradition and which has become international and which uh, part way JICA, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, also started to, uh, to help uh, countries that wanted to put that model in. So it has been helped uh, to be implemented, I think, in Africa, in, in Indonesia, and, and uh, other countries. Now, what has happened recently is that um, there is another aspect of Japanese education as that I have been talking about, uh, which is not academic. Uh, and those two, the academic side and the non-academic side, are the two wheels of the bicycle, so to say. Uh, so one without the other is actually only half. Uh, however, the other side has not until uh, recently been that known abroad because I think lesson study attracted international uh, attention after uh, it, was, it was introduced in English. Uh, it it's been there for a long time in Japan, however, no one uh, reads that much Japanese uh, outside of Japan. Uh, and the, the tokatsu no one wrote about, so uh, except uh, aspects of tokatsu, like cleaning, for example, or children serving lunch, uh, these are very visible. Uh, and uh, visitors coming to Japan have written about that. But they have taken cleaning as cleaning, basically. Uh, and uh, if you look at the YouTube, you can see lots of pictures of children, Japanese children cleaning. And then Arab, Arab countries, for example, also came and they observed and, and put it up on their web and things like that. But there is a structure behind that, and that is the tokatsu. See? So that has started to attract more attention uh, in recent years. Um, the fact that ja the pillar of Japanese education was both academic and non-academic is something that has been said for decades in, uh, in scholarship in, in ja on Japanese education. For example, uh, even I, with, uh, when I wrote a book 15 years ago on the Japanese model of education, I you know, noted this that uh, the two pillars and one was non-academic. So it has been kind of co common sense among scholars of Japanese education, but it was suddenly discovered in a way, <laughs> officially, uh, uh, by the government, uh, because uh, foreign governments, I think, started to come to the Japanese government and ask for uh, assistance in implementing you know, this part of uh, the Japanese education into their system. Uh, and as you can see, it's in Japanese, so you probably don't, won't be able to understand, but these are articles that came out this year uh, about uh, the Japanese government assisting uh, the Japanese style of education, which is basically uh, tokatsu and the non-academic side. Uh, into developing countries or countries in which uh, have come for request. And you can see, I think, a picture of Sports Day, uh, which is you know, an event now, I think, is also in a lot of Asian countries, uh, cleaning uh, and things like that. And uh, if you look at the international models in the world, uh, a lot of them, of course, or most of them, are Western. Uh, but this, uh, there are some uh, Asian models, uh, some of which I've noted, you know, lesson study, and also like Singapore math. These are probably uh, Asian models, and Tokatsu is probably one which uh, the government, because the government uh, is starting to to say that it will fund it or uh, help it uh, go abroad, is something that will probably follow the footsteps of lesson study. And this is really very uh, quite new. Now, tokatsu, 
uh, and it's hard to put it into English, shall I say. The so what comes closest, probably in the Western model, is social and emotional learning. See, so I have wrote in the social and emotional side of the education of the whole child. Um, and you can see, if you read that, you can see it, it is a combination of collaborative activities together with uh, the individual uh, in that, in those collaborative activities. And as you can see, it says uh, participation in the group, and the, this is usually the small group, uh, and doing activities that uh, are um, build a kind of uh, self-initiated uh, attitude uh, to contribute and also uh, to uh, do one's best, basically. And I have a homepage there, an address there as well, and if you're interested, because I translated uh, a research, a teacher's research group guide, guidebook Antokatsu uh, into English so that others can, can uh, look at it. Now, one of the strengths, I think, of the Japanese education system uh, in, in terms of teachers, um, which can be seen in lesson study, is that there is a bottom-up, uh, strong teacher network um, of learning, which is not top-down. Um, which might have started top down you know, in the past when, when education was building up, but which is now uh, very teacher initiated. And for example, um, there are uh, research groups uh, for various, uh, like not just math, but physical education, uh, tokatsu, uh, where teachers get together just like scholars would in an academic society, there would be a president, vice president, you know, and uh, people who manage the, uh, the accountant. Uh, and they would hold their own meetings. They would do lesson study. Basically, they would, they would open up their, uh, their classes. Uh, some teachers would, you know, other schools would present what they're doing. Uh, there would be sessions in different rooms. and. I went to the last one uh, in another prefecture uh, in Himeji, which is really far away by plane, and there really were, were about a thousand teachers there coming from all over Japan. And that is the way, and no one really directs them except for the teachers, you see. So, and that is the kind of learning basis, I think, that uh, is one of the strengths of, of that, the, the learning system of, of the teachers in, the Jap in Japan. Um, and there are smaller groups, like in Tokyo, or in the districts in Tokyo, and uh, the translation is from some of the material that the Tokyo Research Group for Tokatsu, and also a smaller uh, uh, unit within Tokyo um, made. So you can see the kind of, it's autonomous, so no one, uh, it's by the teachers, basically. You know, it's, it's, uh, it wasn't driven by uh, anyone else. Okay, I have um, listed some of the elements of uh, the structure of tokatsu. Now, um, just like lesson study, there are certain attitudes, <laughs> certain uh, rules which are written and unwritten, uh, which try to guide uh, child-initiated kind of learning uh, without the teacher stepping in, but guide uh, monitoring, okay? And um, this, I've written down some of the positions that they usually uh, distinguish within tokatsu in the classroom activities. Tokatsu includes not uh, school lunches, you no know, cleaning, classroom activities, uh, school events, the pupil councils, these kind of non-academic activities which are done uh, together. You know. And for example, uh, inside the classroom, 
there are like to, uh, things that are called toban, small groups that are called troban, which do usually lunch, serving lunch, and also cleaning. See, so um, these are the type of chores uh, that are necessary uh, for the school to run smoothly, right? So everyone does it. See, so. Um, the, the classes are usually broken up into small groups, uh, which then are heterogeneous. See, you, uh, men, uh, girls and boys, and uh, usually in other ways, it's supposed to be heterogeneous because uh, doing something collaboratively and learning how to, to collaboratively do things with people that are different from you is one of the ideas. And so, um, every child usually is part of uh, this small group, which is then uh, rotated. No, it's regrouped after like a semester so that you can meet, you can do things with, with the next group of people. And Toban are the chores basically that every child is supposed to do. Uh, and then uh, like the Kakari are things that the child wants to do. So, for example, if a child wants to take care of the pets, then they can, they can start a, a, a pet, you know, taking care of the pet kakari, basically. So that would depend on the school, because that depends on the, the, what the children want. The chores, the toban, you can find everywhere. Um, and then there are also the daily monitors, usually that start the, the classes, end the classes, uh, come out and, and, and see that the, the class is okay in the end of the, the day. Uh, they're kind of like, you know, they're uh, the monitors that look after, you know, the class. Uh, and it starts in kindergarten, you know, and then it, it really starts for real around uh, first grade. And it's a daily practice, you know, that starts Every day starts with a classroom meeting. Every day start, ends with a classroom meeting. And there's lunch every day and cleaning every day. So it's a, it's a very kind of daily uh, activity, which is also part of the curriculum, see? Um, and then, you know, you have the classroom discussions. So if we have time, I'll show, it to, I'll show an example to you. Uh, that, again, is part of the official curriculum. OK, that's a picture of lunch. And you can see the toban, see, in their hats, you know, uh, for hygiene reasons, serving the children who are then, you know, eating in the classroom. And they rotate that, that uh, chore. And those are some of the, the um, very, uh, you know, the pillars of, of the the uh, tokatsu, which is child-initiated, it's collaborative, uh, and it's learning by doing. You do not sit there. You know? The children learn by doing. Uh, and of course, you can do, you can make children uh, clean, for example, you know, without being democratic. See, that's the way. But the idea is for the children to want to do it. See, to want to clean uh, or to want to do something. So. The, in the original idea of tokatsu, if you take cleaning as an example, and I'll show an uh, example of, of classroom discussion, the aim is not to have, the only aim or the highest aim is not to have a clean classroom. Now a clean classroom you can have by ordering them, see? Or by having the janitor do it. The, uh, even if it's messy, which is going to happen in, in uh, your first grade classroom. You know, the idea is that children are learning and then eventually would want to, to keep their, their classroom cleaner because it's a nicer place to study and then will go out into the community and everywhere else and repeat that behavior uh, even if no one is looking. You see, that's the kind of uh, idea where toka, what that tokatsu is based on um, and encouraging spontaneous, you know, whether it's collaboration uh, and learning in cooperative peer groups and then using reflection uh, as a means of 
uh, thinking about whether uh, those activities were, uh, were what they wanted or not. So you can see some of the ideas that the, uh, the teachers in the, the research groups uh, have come up with. You know, these are kind of uh, latent rules in which, uh, which I have uh, summarized right now. It's collaborative and it is uh, also uh, self-initiated. Now, um, I'm going to show you a bit of the video uh, of a classroom discussion. See, um, what, what is very hard for foreign visitors to observe uh, is the classroom discussion part because it comes with a set uh, with the activity of cleaning. So if you look at YouTube, there's a lot of um, pictures of cleaning because it's very visible, it's very easy to understand. But the Tokats part is not about keeping the cl classroom clean. It's about discussing and then trying to, to, to get the children to uh, become more aware of their environment and also to repeat the kind of behavior uh, within the class, outside of the class. And um, there are two types of classroom activities. One is teacher initiated and one is children initiated. And this is an example of teacher initiated. See, so the teacher has the goal of trying to make the, uh, the trying to get the children to realize, you know, what it means to have a clean classroom. Uh, so I will show some of that. And I have, oh, and before that, I have to ask you um, that uh, in Japan, uh, privacy issues are very strict. Okay, and uh, there are children in here, and I have not gotten the permission of every single family, all right? So you must not take pictures. I ask you not to take pictures. Next year, we, in our, our grant, we will be making a video and, and uh, trying to make it available uh, after getting the permission from every single parent. Uh, but if, you know, it, uh, if you take pictures, then it, is, it, it will be a problem. So I, I ask you not to do that. And the reason the pictures that I showed you here were not in your CDs is because of this. Uh, okay, thank you very much. This is, I'm sorry, the subtitles uh, were from, uh, were made by my graduate students. Uh, we haven't quite, um, the videos are not quite uh, made to show, but you can see that what's happening. This is in a, uh, I can't hear anything, but uh, elementary school classroom uh, on cleaning, okay? So the teacher has done a questionnaire from the children and they answered you know we want our classroom clean and there's Mongolian envoys on the on the side because they came from the ministry And this is typical, you know, because the teacher is asking, why do you, you know, why do you want to keep it clean? Why do you think it's not clean? And what she did was to take pictures, see? After everyone had left, she took pictures of the classroom. Okay? And then, and then there were 
things left over, right? I mean, there, the, it was not quite clean, is, is what is happening. And now, as you can see, the children kind of looking. Maybe there's something left here and now. See, there's something on the floor. See, there were things on the floor. Is what this is a public school. Now, sometimes in some countries, uh, public schools also have um, uniforms, right? So it, in Japan, you don't. So the idea she is presenting is, you know, look, uh, everyone wants the classroom to be clean, but look what it looks like after you leave. And she's asking, what could we do? What, what should be done? You know, there's a, a, probably a gap between what you want and, and what's happening. We, we just look around well. You know, these are ideas from the children. And she's writing them down. The same kind of process goes with math. If, you know, if you've seen lesson study, you know, what, what happens usually is that the teacher poses a big question no, and that different uh, students come and, or pupils come and they think, I think this and I think that, and, and they start writing it on the board. Uh, and if you have a very skillful teacher, she brings, or he brings, uh, she or he brings, you know, the, the uh, answers of the, uh, the children together uh, in, in a way that uh, eventually it, it starts to look like you know, something cohesive. Right? So that's the kind of, a little bit more directed, as you can see. You don't, she doesn't want the, t the children to say that, oh, it's fine to have a dirty classroom, as you can see, so it's directed. However, it's, you know, uh, it is not something that, like she is saying, clean, as you can see. It's going to be dirty for a while, of course. Even after this, I'm sure it's going to be dirty for a while. But the aim is for the children to become attentive you know, and, and to think about why it might be nicer to have a cleaner classroom. And you can see that they're looking downward. You know, that, that's funny. And then part way, what is going to happen, and I'm going to end it there, uh, is that they are going to, she is going to invite the janitor. And the janitor does less work, I think, in countries where the janitor is responsible for everything. I it's after this. What, what have you been seeing him doing? Uh, in, and although the children clean, you know, the corridors and whatever, you know, the janitor also, also is there. Uh, and in the ideal model, 
uh, which is not always the case, but the ideal model, the janitor is is also you know, education, right, an educator. See? Because if you look at the whole child education, uh, making your your school grounds attractive is also important as math. You see, so. Uh, in in uh, schools which bring in you know the janitor as part of the educating staff, uh, not not really as a teacher, but you know uh, conceptually, uh, then the children and the janitor might plant flowers together, you know, things like that. Uh -huh. And this happens with the nutritionist. See, this there is a nutritionist in uh, in schools. Uh, sometimes not in every school, but. There are, they are in charge of several schools uh, which, who calculates the nutrition and, and is now in charge of food education, see, food instruction, so that the children can uh, learn what a, a balanced diet is and live healthily and things like that. So it's a very similar kind of model. And you can see the part, this part, which is very hard to see from the outside. Do you think I have time to show a bit of the other one? No. Okay. Okay, you can see that he he you know helps out so they can you know, uh, enjoy life better, sorry. Okay, could you turn that off? Thank you. Could you show a little bit of the other? Is it possible? Okay. There, this, this other one is junior high. Okay, so um, it was prepared for the Egyptian envoy. Egypt is the country where the president came to the to our prime minister and asked for uh, you know the assistance in, in in looking at the Japanese model. That's why I prepared this you know for uh, because uh, an envoy came, the ministers came, and I presented you know. The tokatsu part. I hope it goes quicker. <laughs> and this is a girls' school, and so the reason that the girls are there, uh, if it was a boys' school, it would be the boys. Okay. So this is a private school. It's junior high. Uh, this is one of their occasions of all the the uh, first year students in junior high gather together in this cafeteria one, uh, once in a month, I think, uh, to, commu to communicate with each other, basically, and eat lunch together. And you can see that lunch is a, a collaborative learning experience, you know, even for this. And, and so the, the students are putting together, you know, their, their uh, each person's um, lunch, and you can see that they're very used to it. See, because they have been doing it in their own classroom. No one's really, you know, telling someone to do, do something. In the back, after this, you will see the nutritionist with a microphone uh, who is saying something like, you know, put the sauce on, remember to put the sauce on, but uh, because she's there. But usually she's not there, right? So. The idea is for the teacher to be in the back, and this is a lunch newspaper, and as you can see, it's kind of a serious matter, see? Uh, and each, uh, each lunch is calculated, you can see the ingredients there, and you can see the goal there, the nutritionist would write a message, you know, uh, and things like that. Uh, and lunch education is serious matter, it's, it's even in the law, you know, uh, for a healthy life. You know? and uh, lunch, school lunch is a, a major part of that. See, so school lunch is about you know uh, building collaborative uh, learning experiences, uh, uh, social you know um, accepting others you know because the toban are in heterogeneous groups. But it's also about learning about nutrition and about learning he uh, about healthy lifestyles and things like that. And you can see that it's part of the curriculum. <laughs> see, it's part of something that happens every single day. And you can see that with cleaning and everything else. And uh, I just wanted to show you the logic 
you know, the structure behind what you will probably see a lot on the, the, uh, the YouTube or whatever else, uh, the actual activity of serving lunch and uh, cleaning. So thank you very much. I think we've run out of time. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Dr. Ryoko Tsutne Yoshi, for a very informative information. Now, I would like to call upon Associate Professor Dr. Nawanit Songkram to kindly present a token of appreciation to our speaker. Thank you very much.